You're watching UNICEF Television. 85% of persons displaced by the floods that swallowed a fifth of Pakistan are women and children. As the flood waters rise in Sindh, they are at acute risk from starvation, exposure, and waterborne diseases. Women's hygiene and health in particular has deteriorated. We understand now about cleanliness. The lady health worker are teaching us about hand washing also. But these are the only clothes I have to wear, so it becomes difficult to keep them clean. UNICEF in support of the health department have mobilized lady health workers to work in the affected areas to bring awareness to the women on basic hygiene and the importance of immunization. In government-supported camps, health education sessions are being conducted daily to deliver messages related to better sanitation, vaccinations, and pre- and postnatal care for pregnant women and child protection. We have been conducting health surveillance and early detection of infectious diseases and have been teaching them to practice basic hygiene and advocating for immunization. Many of them are now making sure that their children are vaccinated and are administered polio drops. There are almost 13,000 lady health workers that have reached approximately 440,000 affected women in Sindh. But numbers are not always sufficient to meet the crushing demand for help. The situation is still critical for many, and UNICEF urges that relief efforts must be stepped up and sustained in order to reach out to the millions affected. This is Natasha D'Souza reporting from Sakhar Sindh. For more information, go to unicef.org. Unite for children.